As the sign indicates, Trimble is a wildlife management area operated by the Missouri Conservation Commission and is located halfway between Kansas City and St. Joseph, Missouri on Highway 169. As you follow the main road in, it should be noted that the Trimble consists of 1,200 acres and was established in 1950 through 51 with federal funds derived from excise taxes on sporting arms and ammunition. The large body of water seen here consists of about 170 acres. In addition to this, there are about 10 adjacent marshes, which total another 189 acres. The rest of the land is made up of rolling hills, timber, and farmland. Hunting and fishing are allowed at Trimble, but one of the primary objectives is to provide nesting, breeding, and feeding grounds for the wildlife found there especially the resident giant Canada geese that live there year-round. On the west side of the large body of water is found a small canal in which the Conservation Department rents out boats to people who wish to fish. However, it pays to check your boat out first, as you can see here, where a possum has made this boat his winter and spring home and was not too happy at the thought of being evicted. On the east and west side of the large body of water, the marshes are located. If you look carefully, you will see some of the wash tubs mounted on poles for the Canada's nesting sites. There are some 100 of these tubs distributed throughout the marshes and adjacent farm ponds around Trimble. The primary reason for these wash tubs is to provide protection from predators for the Canada geese eggs during the nesting season. Most of these marshes are off limits to the public during the nesting season, but with special permission to the Conservation Department, much of this film has been photographed in these areas. The Canada Goose is most famous and easily recognizable by his long black stocking neck and head that is broken only by a white patch around the throat. An overall look shows they have a brownish gray back and wings, a light pale chest, a white belly with black tail feathers and black feet. The important thing to note here is that unlike most waterfowl, both the male and female are identical in their coloration and markings. They stand about three to three and a half feet in height, and they can weigh anywhere from nine to 18 pounds. Notice especially the extremely long neck. Sometimes a goose will have an orange patch around the throat instead of a bright white patch as seen here. This is caused by a stain absorbed while feeding 